are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 147 pounds. Razor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. 
big punch from the clinch. Big kick lands. Try to establish that jab. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Quick level change. Oh, he went single. Well, can't hit outside this dude's going for a while. Oh. rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, close guard now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Ooh, what a punch. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. Ooh, found a home for that knee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Head kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And just misses with that big right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he hands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Uppercut there blocked by Lee. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Seconds left. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big leg kick land. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it and they're fighting behind it real well. It's a beautiful easy jab with meaning. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Three, two, three. 
checks the leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, missed on that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Now connects with a right. Oh, that'll win your bell. Head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch lands over the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Three minutes to go. Trying to find a home for that right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another. And potentially a critical takedown here. Side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, man. Hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Just misses with the right. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Spinning back fist. Right hook to the body. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Huge block there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 15 seconds. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side kick. Ten Wait, minutes like in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, 
you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big punch land. And he landed the right hand there. Look, is there again. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Ooh! Beautiful punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Doubling up on the jab. sides here. Oh! That's as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Good fight here, under two to go. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Nice straight punch. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Straight right, he misses. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Nice punch lands over the top. Good right hand. Back and forth we go here. Oh, fades upstairs as it lands. Close to the they land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect. This is fight. They will stop very soon. Oh, you gotta like the output. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Oh! Oh, big diving punch is good. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got him hurt back! Oh, 
Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. What a fight so far! All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Dictating the fight with a jab. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. in terms of staying heavy and also staying job by him to get the takedown there. He did a good job of setting up his attack, securing it, and getting the desired result. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you be up on an elbow, right. and you'll be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Nice try. Big head kick lands. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been... That's all you ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big leg kick lands. Beautiful body kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Nice leg kick. Oh, oh that's the right the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to score. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Good punch land. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, single collar tie. Here. Whoa! Went for the inside leg kick. 
Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Visibly limping here. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you get one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Oh, that's a nice strike. remaining here in round four. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs, that is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go. Fifth and final round. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big power shot there. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Jab now again, the fighter of eights. Big punch lands. Ooh. Powerful leg kick land. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Out of range with that one. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Nice, sneaky head kick. Just misses with that one. Beautiful level change, Lisa take. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. What a body kick. Oh, huge block. Oh, that was a scare PC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Liver kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Sneaky head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee gets 
hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Ooh, big shot land. Good punches he's thrown on up. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed good. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Gets up again here, but hurting. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you he's, he's limping now. Continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish. And he